but until we'll be doing a video and today we'll be back in the world of random buildings and stuff yeah <laughs> anyway today we'll be doing alpha free as you see you got a glimpse of it just now basically basically we'll be just touring around alpha free first off <laughs> sorry Basically, first of all, this house is the exact same as that, just a bit smaller. Basically, it's just rooms with nothing. Basically, this room and this room is basically all that's in the house. And this is all that is. Basically, that's it. <laughs> anyway, this is the Alpha Free house. And this took, this took like five days to make. Whew. I remember when I was building it, it was like very hard because when I was doing uh, stuff like, you know, just the smallest details around the house and stuff, it was very tricky because when I uh, was doing it, I had to actually use the actual Hello Neighbor Alpha Free game. But the problem is my PC, um, you could say, um, didn't have the requirements for Alpha Free, especially Alpha 2 and 1. But Alpha 2 and 1 I didn't really need um, the game, actual game for us, it was just in videos and stuff. And it was pretty easy just to know what to build and stuff. But yeah. So, I had to use a whole bunch of videos and I actually had to play the game just to like, get a whole bunch of stuff done. Because in half of the videos like they wouldn't reveal everything I wanted them to reveal and stuff. So, I just had to guess really. Well, I had to guess and actually use the game. So yeah, anyway. Let's have a tour of the exterior first. Uh, the exterior is just at the front as, as on the teaser. Although, uh, the fan, I actually think I did the fan pretty good. I don't know, it's just the fan's one of my favourite things I built at the front of the house, sort of. Anyway, at the front of the house it's just, you know, the same. With the red car. And at the front of this house is the yellow car. They look very similar because they are, they're basically the same thing, just different colours. Anyway, going around the house, we have a balcony here with a door. And this thing here is, was supposed to be like a door there, but I couldn't really get that to work because it drilled into a, a different room, so I just had to cover it with glass. Anyway. This is just like the hanging thing from this room with the giant cloth on top of it. As you see, um, there's supposed to be a door down there, but as you know, you can't place doors vertical. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this here is the giant fan. Including when I did the, the fan, it's like, it looks the exact same, but apart from this part's like broken off. Anyway. This is the hang-in room I just said, I'm pretty sure. And that's just a roller coaster. Well, not roller coaster, just train tracks. With the chimney, I think. I think that's a chimney at least. Anyway, moving on. Around this side is just a giant pole holding that room, as you see. Then just random piles of boxes. Including this like red room with the like dark plank on it just some windows this red thing i have no idea what it is i just saw it on the uh in the game anyway uh this um, minecart track thing and then like these supports holding the building that the minecart's going to and then like these things that are like like i'm thinking i'd say are like you cannot pass or something like that out of order or something anyway then we have this roof with two doors at the back, including the light there. And in here is just like, just three piles of windows. <laughs> what a word. Anyway, then in here is the room of no floor painting, which that's my favorite painting by the way. And then there's just like a lights with a like wooden pole holding the lights above. Anyway. Then coming around is just like a thing to get inside. So basically, you can have it closed and then go like that. Oh, like that. And then you're inside the room with the generator. 
which I actually have no idea what the generator does because I never really seen what the generator does. Anyway, then we have like this thing that's on the side of the balcony. Then we have the ladder and then like a little thing to get onto the ladder and we're back at the front. So let's get inside this house. So first off, when you get inside, you just see this hallway with the main door here, as you see. And then like, a f f well, two other doors here and then one door here and another door there. So let's start off in the kitchen. When uh, These are just supposed to be like cabinets and in this cabinet here, there's a whole bunch of torches representing flashlight. Anyway, moving on. This is the uh, living room here with the uh, TV. I forgot that I can't punch it with blocks of brick. Actually, I have an idea. No, not survival, my bad. Adventure mode. So I can just go like that. And I can still fly. I just need to disable exhaustion, which is disabled. Right. Anyway. So this is the uh, TV here. Then this is just, uh, oh wait, oh no, I'm not sure if you can break stuff with swords and creative, I'm actually not sure, anyway, the, so this door just leads back out here, and this door leads back into this hallway as I demonstrated, if I leave that open, it's just like that, anyway, in here sadly, I didn't do anything, because if I go into the neighbour's bedroom, it's literally that block, as you see, I can't really do it. Anyway, this is the neighbor's bedroom. The bed, I admit, looks pretty bad. I couldn't really make a good bed, but this is like a thing where you're supposed to hide under, like that. This is so, supposed to be like the furnace or fireplace or whatever you want to call it. That's supposed to be that. Anyway, if I go through, eh, through here, this is supposed to be um, the glue shelf. And that's supposed to be the generator, and just out here leads out here. <laughs> I mean, back out here leads out there. And right, oh yeah, that's supposed to be just because I couldn't really get the white part done. So yeah, and we're going through these two doors just leads back here into the kitchen, as you see there. Anyway, moving on. To be honest, with you, I don't think you really need torches in this Minecraft version of the Hello Neighbor House. Because it's not too much. Anyway, going through this door leads into the bathroom, which has a toilet, which the pipe I couldn't really... I didn't really know what to do for a pipe thing, so I did that. This is supposed to be another pipe too, for the bath tub. And then these are just lights. I can actually break the lights in the thing, in adventure mode. Anyway, then... Just to show you, that's the bathroom. That's the uh, neighbor's room. Just close these because you don't want all the doors to be open. <laughs> okay, moving on. This big hallway was intended to be for this hallway, but I kind of messed that up in a way because that the hallway size here is supposed to be converted to here. So basically, both hallways are similar sizes. Like, take half of this and put it here, for an example. Anyway, got another light and we got that door I talked about earlier, which I couldn't really make into a door. Anyway, this is the out of order elevator. That's interesting. I just see like the things moving so far. I was actually breaking the out of order elevator. Anyway, this is the uh, lamp. Uh, it's supposed to be the blue lamp, as you probably can't tell. I mean, can't tell, but I kind of failed on that. Anyway. Through this door, it leads into a room where there's supposed to be a whole bunch of random stuff, including another blue lamp, but I didn't, couldn't really be bothered to just look and check and see what to build in here, so it's just a blank room. Then through here, it leads out here, as you see, just back out here. Anyway, moving on. We're going upstairs. So as you see through the window, it's just into the bathroom there. Anyway, go upstairs. It leads into uh, this place where there's bars. Supposed to be some boxes here, but basically why I made it is so you have to pile some boxes up and then you have to jump through that and to get to the other side. Although, 
Oh yeah, I, d I didn't make a thing with the thing open, so you can't actually go back, you can't actually. Anyway, up here, I forgot to close these doors, but up here, it's just a, supposed to be like an elevator here and windows here, but I didn't really add those, because basically if I break through here, it's just a blank roof and stuff. You know when you build something from a game and it's just like out of place? Basically, it's that. Anyway, down here we'll go in a minute. So, if I just close these doors and go back, if I go go over here, as soon as I get over here, open this, and now, if I open this, it leads into this room which I showed you earlier, where basically, if you break this painting, basically there's a lever which is supposed to represent the key for um, that door that I opened over I opened where I said we'd go in a minute underneath. Anyway, basically, if you go outside, just go outside, uh, break through one of the. Oh, I forgot I can't. Anyone? Can I break through with a shovel? Nope. Can I break through with a. Not an ender dragon egg, with a pickaxe? Nope, apparently I can't. Tell you what. <laughs> I know this isn't, isn't really what's supposed to happen, but. I, I, ca I have to resort to desperate measures to get to this chest. Ah, oh. never mind. I'll just place all this dirt back. Anyway, basically there's supposed to be a hopper in there. And if I go back up here. Basically you're supposed to place a hopper here and then when you break this it falls into the hopper. And then you can just collect it because if you break it, it'll just fall into like underneath that block. And yeah, and I'll have to get the right painting. No, jeepers! Ah, oh, there we go. Anyway, oh, this is it's not my favorite paint, but it'll do. Anyway, moving on to this see that room I said we'd go to in a minute. This is that room basically, just fly through here. It leads back into here, which leads it down these stairs. Anyway, if I go down here, it leads into this room, which, uh, this is supposed to be like, um, the, that cabinet thing, but I couldn't really make one properly, so I just uh, resort to that. Anyway, this is the uh, key card here. Basically, this key card is supposed to be used in, you know, that door downstairs. Anyway, moving on. If you go through these uh, sections of doors, it leads to this glass thing, which most people actually break through. I have two glasses. I mean, two glass. Huh? Oh, I can't break glass while holding an item. Okay, basically, if I break through this glass, it leads out here, which if I do it correctly, it jump onto this ladder. Which then, as soon as I get up the ladder, I place, I already had a box here. I basically climb up here and then go down here. Which basically leads in here, which I forgot to build a giant pole that's supposed to have like a crowbar on it. But yeah. And if you break through this glass, it, you can guess where it leads. Yeah, it leads outside. And basically you're supposed to jump down and I need this pickaxe. And I need to put this away and get the quartz. You know, I can't be bothered. I'm going, hang on, I have to go back up there. I, I can't be bothered to break the glass and replace it in creative mode. So basically, that, that's what I resort to. <laughs> anyway, let me get back down. Let me get that glass back. I got free. Huh. Anyway, I just put that back. Like that. Go through here, it's supposed to lean here, but there is supposed to be a chair block in that door. And in here, unfortunately I can build anything, so there's nothing, as you see. Anyway, just go back over this. Anyway, moving on. We got this door, which leads to a balcony, which is also supposed to have a chair block in it, which leads to a balcony of the giant fan. As you see. Anyway. Close those. Open this. This is, uh, when I looked through a keyhole, I just saw a gun there, so, yep, <laughs> I just saw a gun. And this room, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, I, but I'm not sure if you can actually get to it, because I did see a guy do 
I don't know, he like modded the game on YouTube where basically he could just go through stuff and fly through stuff. And when he was like flying past windows and stuff, I like tried to pause it and angle it. And this is what I saw. I, I, I saw this. I just saw like a cabinet, a toilet. And this, I, I didn't see anything else like over here or anywhere. Anyway. Moving on. Actually, where is that everything? When you, when you realize, is that everything? Uh, okay, is that everything? I don't know. Anyway. I think that's everything, actually. Uh, trying to picture, is that any more things? No, that, I think that's everything. So, um, yeah, that was the Alpha 3 house. Sorry if I, uh, missed out something. Or, just something I forgot to build, but I couldn't, I couldn't really, like, in some rooms I can really build it because you know that time when you're trying to replicate something you just like misbuild something and you can't really replace because you'd have to like move the entire build over. It's sort of one of those moments. I'm sorry if I am a bit loud. Anyway. If you enjoyed the video comment down below. Uh, which alpha house is your favourite? Is it, and I'll just flow to all the alpha houses, is it alpha 1, which I got the glass wrong, <laughs> anyway, is it alpha 1, is it alpha 2, or is it alpha 3, in my opinion, I think all the alpha houses are pretty good, I actually, I don't really have a fear, I think just all the alpha houses are my favourite actually, to be honest. Although, um, with this house down here, this birch one, I think I could have did a bit better because I didn't really replicate it too well. <laughs> anyway, that is all the, uh, that's all the alphas so far. So, if you enjoyed the video, comment down below which alpha house is your favourite. And, I'm trying to think what to say. <laughs> and, that's everything. Goodbye, guys.